Breaking news, Dahlia Takali has made her Instagram account public. Now it's up for debate whether that's even their real names, how they're spelled, what their last names are, et cetera, et cetera. Is it Dia? Is it Dima? Is it Dia? Is it Dia? All right, guys, meet my dear friend, Dahlia. Hello. And Dima. Dia. Who knows? Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Monday? I am doing quite well. As you probably have been able to tell, I've taken a little bit of a break from making YouTube videos every day on this channel. I do plan to return back to making videos pretty much daily very soon. But as you all know, I am in an active lawsuit against Lima Yevremovich, Bam Margera's former or perhaps current conservator. This is my first active lawsuit I've ever been a part of. And whenever she first filed that lawsuit, I was a little bit upset because it really shook whatever faith I did have left in the American legal system. It is preposterous that I could be sued for telling my people the truth about what she's doing. Very strange to me, but here we are. So seeing as this is the first lawsuit that I've ever been a part of, I didn't exactly know what to do at first. I mean, yeah, I went to law school, one of the best ones in the whole world, but I was never actually a part of any of these lawsuits. Basically, she lied about the cause of death of someone in her care, and she did it in a very public way. All right, Lima. All right. So we have the autopsy results for Amanda. Yes, we do which just came a couple days ago. Uh, tell me what- So I'm just gonna read it word for word of what we got. Um, the cause of death was marked as a seizure disorder. I requested the autopsy results of that person. Her name was Amanda Rabb. May she rest in peace. And when I read the cause of death on the publicly available autopsy results, they did not match up at all in any way whatsoever with what Lima Yevremovich said was the cause of death. So I said the truth, which was that Lima lied and Lima, it hurt her feelings so bad that she went ahead and sued me. Now, I think I'm close to $150,000 in legal bills. Please do donate to the legal fund below if you can. But when I first got sued and when we went through these first rounds of filings and very quickly, my legal bills went up to $100,000. And yeah, you know what? I did go to law school. And to be honest, I think I have what it takes to have fought these people by myself. The issue with fighting it myself would be twofold. First of all, Lima hired some heavy hitters in the law. I mean, together, they've probably been doing this for like 600 years or something. They're basically dinosaurs. So they know all the tricks and they are already trying to use them against me. Second of all, I would have had to devote 100% of my time to fighting this lawsuit, which I am not going to do. I'm not going to do it. So for a while, I was kind of just like letting my lawyers handle it, letting them deal with it. But then a few weeks ago, Lima did something so preposterous that it didn't surprise me at all, but it was still preposterous. She is trying to hide and conceal from not only me, but from y'all who are the members of her company, Aura. And I had to go ahead and start doing some research because you know what? If you're going to sue me, and this goes to anybody out there that thinks they're going to sue me for telling the truth. Hmm. You better not have no skeletons in your damn closet. You better not have a single femur bone in your closet because I'm going to find it. Oh, yes, I am. Stuff you never, ever thought that I was going to find, I'm going to find it. And then if I find it and it was public, which almost every single thing I ever find is public, I'm going to tell every damn person about it who will listen. Yes, I will. Do not sue me for telling the truth, bitch. I bet you learned your lesson now, didn't you? Hmm. So long story short, I've spent the greater part of the last two weeks, probably 10 to 15 hours a day searching every single possible nook and cranny, not only of the internet, but of the physical field of reality in order to find every single skeleton, every femur, every skull, every kneecap, every pinky toe bone in these people's closets. And boy, oh boy, have I found some stuff. For example, I have found a fairly tenuous, but a connection nonetheless, connection between Brandon Novak and at least the former chief operations 
officer of Aura, Melissa McCarthy. I've looked all into her. I've looked into Brandon Novak and I found some connections. That is not the only thing I have found. It's going to take me quite a while to make these videos. Then once I'm done making the That Surprise Witness videos, I'm going to make BJ Investigates videos of the highlights just to sum it all up so that I can all live over there in that place. Anyway, that's where I've been. In the moments that I haven't been looking into all these people's skeletons in their closets and finding them and writing scripts and writing bullet point checklists and everything else out to tell y'all all the things that I found, I have also been making some new music. So make sure that you are subscribed to my music channel because some new music is going to be coming out over the coming months. Anyway, that's not what any of this video today is about. Today's video is about a completely different development. Breaking news, Dahlia Takali has made her Instagram account public. So I started my investigation in February into Lima Yavrimovich, and it all started because I heard from Brandon Novak and Steve-O the Failed Clown in about February 2022, so February of last year, that Bam Margera was in a conservatorship. Now, Steve-O kind of waffled back and forth. Is it conservatorship? Is it a guardian? It's the same shit. It's the same thing. Guardianship and conservatorship, same thing. You assign someone's rights to either their decisions, their body, their health, or their property to someone else. Some states have played around with the terminology, calling it different things. In my opinion, basically just to trick we the people into thinking it's something else other than slavery when that's what it is. But anyway, 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 that's, that's, I digress. So I found out around February, 2022, that Bam Margera was in a conservatorship or guardianship. Same thing, same exact thing, Steve-O. I immediately start looking into it. I go straight to the news. The news said that he had been arrested back in like September, 2021 in Pinellas County. So I went to the Pinellas County court documents and ended up finding out, yes, they did apply for a conservatorship for Bam. And the woman's name on the application was like Lima Takali, Yavrimovich or Lima, yeah, Lima Takali or Lima Takali Yavrimovich, something like that. So immediately I start looking her up and then I find out very quickly that she was on Soft White Underbelly, a channel with millions of subscribers trying to shill this experimental virtual reality treatment program. If we can use Amanda as a template for what care should be and that we can save Amanda's life, then everyone can, can see Amanda as, you know, a template for hope. So, you know, so there is, I don't believe in an impossible case, but I, I don't think that there's a better candidate than Amanda. And so she was putting or attempting to put a woman into her care, um, basically involuntarily under what's in California known as an LPS conservatorship. We plan to document how we're helping Amanda because one of the most challenging things about her is that she does not want to go to treatment. She doesn't want help. But by the time I found out about all this, Amanda Rabb had died. Somebody had died in Lima's care. Somebody who Lima took responsibility for, not only financially, but healthcare wise, had died. The person was dead. She was passed, she was no longer with us. So I watch all these videos having to do with Amanda and I'm trying to retrace how we got up to that point in February, 2022. Well, along the way of watching all those videos, I end up finding out that Lima has twin sisters named Dahlia and Dia. I just got mixed up with the wrong crowd and um, my sisters were the poster children for the perfect child. They were identical twins. They um, were athletes, they had straight A's. They had no recollection of the trauma and then so at that time my sisters had a very successful YouTube channel. Their career was on the up and up and rising. Now it's up for debate whether that's even their real names, how they're spelled, what their last names are, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Is it Dia? Is it Dima? Is it Dia? Is it Daya? Alright guys, meet my dear friend Dahlia. Hello. And Dima. Dia. Who knows? Bye. I find out that Lima had these twin sisters. Not only does she have twin sisters, but the twin sisters had been fairly successful YouTubers, filmmakers, screenplay writers, and things like that. And I start looking into the sisters. Then I find out one of the sisters had done went missing back in December, something about a developmental disability, it was a whole thing. And I started following Dahlia and Dia. Now, when I started following Dahlia Takali on Instagram, her Instagram was public. And when I started following her, I started looking through all her posts. And much like Lima, she does a lot of her communication through hashtags. Some of the more alarming hashtags, or even just the one alarming hashtag that really, really stands out to me is the one that says, 
says something along the lines of they used me for science. Now that would become very interesting that she used that as a hashtag because back in April of this year, Dahlia was charged with assault or something all the way in Oklahoma, totally different state now. And in the court filings for this alleged assault, it says that Dahlia had accused her mother, Linda Omar, whoever that is, of using her for science or in particular, abusing her through technology. Okay. So I'm finding all this stuff out and I look at Dahlia Takali's Instagram account and she has stuff on there. Like they use me for science and hashtag secrets kill. And when I started drawing attention to this Instagram account and this YouTube account, which again, Dolly and Dee are public figures. They were YouTubers who made movies, who made documentaries with very famous people. These are public figures, these women. Anyway, all of a sudden one day I wake up and the Instagram account is private and I have been soft blocked, meaning she seems to have blocked me and then unblocked me so that I couldn't be following her anymore. And then her Instagram's private. So immediately I think Lima has taken over the Instagram account. I do have a memory that Lima was in charge of Dahlia and Dia's Instagram account in the first place, like ever since 2018 of their public figure Instagram account. So my first thought was Lima Yavrimovich done logged into Dahlia Takali's Instagram account and blocked me and then un and then unblocked me just so I couldn't see all those hashtags and stuff like that. That was my thought. That's a conspiracy theory. I have no basis for that. I'm not saying that is what happened. I'm just saying that's just what I assumed. Well, y'all breaking news, Dahlia Takali done made her Instagram un private. So it's back public again. And she's followed me on Instagram. Well, I have no idea if it actually is Dahlia who is logged into this Instagram account, if it's Lima, if it's Dia, if it's Ivan, if it's Satan himself, girl. I really do not know who is logged into this Instagram account, but she has posted some very interesting things. So let's look into the few things she's posted since she's been back. Then I want to show y'all someone who is honestly, I don't get scared because no weapon formed against me shall prosper, baby girl. Not one, not even a single one weapon formed against me shall prosper. I, I, I am walking in the light. I am walking in my purpose. I am here doing the mission that I was sent and appointed here to do. And I will complete this mission. Ain't a damn person going to stand in my way. Ain't a thing going to stand in my way. Ain't a creature. Ain't a demon. Ain't a nothing going to going to stand in my way. I'm about to do my mission. My mission is to spread the truth. My mission is to shine light on the truth. So while I'm not particularly scared of these people, I have been threatened and it has been going on. I've been being harassed by this person. She has been slandering and defaming me for months and months. And I'm going to get into showing y'all who it is because I'm going to let you know one thing right now. What is done in the darkness, baby, is going to come to light. Shannon. Anyway, okay. So let's go to Dahlia Takali's Instagram and then we're going to get into this deranged, violent lunatic who has literally legitimately physically threatened me. And if she steps one more pinky toenail out of line, I'm going to be filing a police report. Okay. Let's look at Dahlia Takali's Instagram account first. Do y'all ever see people like come from kind of nowhere on Instagram? This is a side note. I just logged into Instagram. Made me think this. Sometimes people come out of like nowhere and you start following them. They have like a few thousand subscribers. Then all of a sudden they have all these hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Then all of a sudden they're like at the White House. Very weird. Anyway. All right. So now we're on Dahlia Takali's Instagram account. Now, when I saw the Instagram account for the last time, like before it became public again recently, these were the posts on the account. It started here and then it went all the way down here. And as you can see, it is some art. I think we may have even spoken about this Instagram before. What is this? What's this devil? Chelsea something something club regular bedroom door extremely normal pink sky art on instagram normie okay so the first post here was this one no caption and there's this one gorilla style made with dishwasher detergent various other household cleaning appliances when michael's is closed and it's 3 a.m no edit so this looks like the same art again chapter one death row diaries story time so these are all, as you can see, 70 weeks ago, a year has like 50 something weeks, 54, whatever. So I think it was over a year ago. Tears are blood dripping on paper from a heart of shattered glass. You know, I mean, some of this stuff is really deep. Pink sky beneath the surface, underground, buried, three, art on Instagram, art, one, one, one. Like, girl, I don't know. I do not know what all this is. Very dark. It's not the type of art that I would particularly 
particularly be drawn to. I like lighter themes, um, sunshines and rainbows and things. Ooh, this one's freaky. This one looks like I got braces. Eyes stitched shut and mouth wide open, speechless and barely breathing, made with just black chalk. Woof. Okay. So these are the types of things. Let me see if I can find the I was used for science one. I remember. So I will put a screenshot here and show y'all that account did post that one time. So she has six new, I would call them new posts, posts that she's made since the account came back public. And this was the first one. It's her with pink or red hair. I commented, love this hair. This was from two days ago. It doesn't tell you the exact date. So two days ago would have been around June 24th. Maybe it was June 23rd. People are commenting, whatever, and there's no caption. So she just posted a picture of herself. Again, I just want to be very clear. I want to be very clear. I do not know who posted this picture. I do not. This could have been a selfie Dahlia took three, four, five years ago. I really don't know. I have no idea who posted this picture. What I can say for sure is that the account name is Dahlia Takali. It has a few pictures of Dahlia Takali on the account. That's all I know. I don't know if this is Dahlia for sure. We are not in any kind of contact, but this account did follow me. But what else I can tell y'all is Lima from Aura also followed me at one point and then unfollowed me. My conspiracy theory, completely unsubstantiated conspiracy theory is Lima has a bunch of fake accounts that she logs into to look at what I'm doing. She probably tried to follow me from one of those fake accounts, one of those bot accounts, one of those lurker accounts. And she accidentally forgot to switch off that she was logged into Lima from Aura. She forgot to switch accounts and then she followed me from the Lima from Aura account on accident. If I had to guess, that's my conspiracy theory because she no longer follows me anymore. So here is Dahlia. Again, I don't know if this is, she posted it or not, but it is a post on the account. Then she posted this. Now there's something probably significant about the dandy lion or the dandy lion imagery because Dahlia's YouTube channel name is dandy lion. So I don't know what the dandy lion thing is about or what the imagery is, but it does seem to be consistent across the social media channels. Then she posted this picture, which depicts Dahlia and Dia. And they honestly, y'all, I mean, this picture just in and of itself just doesn't really look too good. I mean, they're beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful girls. It really doesn't matter what they're wearing, what color their hair is, what makeup they do or don't have on. They're very beautiful. But it does look like, you know, just something's not it doesn't look like it's the happiest moment of their lives I'll put it that way um then she posted this then it says hashtag in rainbows hashtag reconer reckoner I don't know what that's supposed to say people are saying thank you okay let go and let god is another one she posted and she posted all of this within a one or two day period love unlimited arcada california hashtag i4 so she posted this picture of this little like marshmallow snowman thing in a card and it says, I brought my broken dreams to God because he was my friend. But then instead of leaving him in peace to work alone, I hung around and tried to help with ways that were my own. At last, I snatched them back and cried. How can you be so slow? My child, he said, what could I do? You never let them go. Okay, so like some little poem about like God and problems. And then one more, which this kind of looks like dandelion um what are, what are those things called like seeds or whatever like the little fluffs like when you blow the dandelion flower like the fluffs the little I don't know what they're called they're like seeds or whatever and they fly but I couldn't help but notice how much this looks like Lima Yavremovich's cover photo on Facebook let me show y'all let me see if I can find it do y'all see what I mean the two like they kind of look alike. I don't know. I, I do know that these people really enjoy and love their symbolism and their imagery. So I don't know. Maybe it's just dandelion seeds blowing through the wind, but it does say hashtag art, hashtag art on Instagram. So that's all fine and good. Whatever. Then I go back on Instagram or whatever at some point and I see that Dahlia Takali has requested to follow me. Now, I did make my Instagram account private recently just because it's getting a lot of bot type activity and I'm not in the mood for it. So it'll probably be public again eventually, but right now it's private. So you have to request to follow me. And coming as a huge surprise to me, Dahlia Takali requested to follow me. Of course, I accepted her follow request. Again, I don't know. Could be Lima, could be Ivan logged into this girl's account. I really don't know. And 
until I speak with Dahlia or have a conversation with her, I'm not going to say that's for sure her that's logged into that account. Because that account itself even seems to have been started after I started covering the whole case. So I don't know what's going on with that account, who's running it, who started it, who anything or whatever. But that's where this crazy, deranged, violent lunatic comes into play. Enter... Shannon Ography. So let me just give you a little background on this woman. I did not want to mention her. I never did. This harassment and defamation from her has been going on for literally months, perhaps more than a year. I don't know, long time. And I was just going to let it go because she seems to have a lot of her own problems. She seems to have very, very serious family problems. She also is from Florida. She's probably part of the whole Florida shuffle. She hangs out with like weird religious freaks. So I just was going to let this whole thing go until one day whenever she started making deranged and violent threats against me. So I'm going to pull this one up. So the first time I ever heard of her, she was making comments in my live chat and she was talking about all kinds of unhinged, deranged lunacy. The woman is insane. Insane. She was talking about, I'm stalking Lima. I've never seen Lima with my eyes in person once, ever. You can't stalk somebody that you have never seen, bitch. She's talking about, I'm harassing Lima. I'm stalking her family. I'm harassing her. She was talking about all kinds of crazy shit y'all it was insane it's called journalism it's like these people don't know what a journalist is and it's not their fault truly it's not they're so ignorant and stupid it's not their fault the only thing that we've seen as journalism for the past 10 15 years has been complete propaganda so i don't really blame the average npc for not understanding what journalism is this is what it is baby girl this is journalism you look stuff up that's available to the public you put it all together and then you say, hey, public, hey, the people, don't y'all think this is a little bit weird? Let me know. And then everybody starts looking into it. That's what it is. If you want to come to the United States from Canada or Serbia or whatever and start experimenting on people, you need to know what a journalist is. I think it's a great public service announcement to let the rest of them know before they come over here and try to experiment on people what happens this is where we have freedom of speech stupid ass this is where it exists all right and maybe they're trying to take it away from us a little bit by a little bit certain things we can't talk about on certain platforms etc cetera, etc cetera. but we can talk about stuff that's in the public stupid ass anyway shannon did not like that and she proceeds to say a comment like this if i were lima and you did this to my sister what did i do to her sister I told everybody that the sister had a YouTube channel, that the YouTube channel advertised where the sister was living. Two videos, two videos. Yes, I have screenshots of it. So y'all can delete, y'all can do what y'all want. I have screenshots and so do my lawyers. Yes, the jury of my peers is going to see it. The sisters put their address out. I could have told y'all what the sister's address is. It was public information. I did not. Actually, we took very great care to conceal those sisters' address. Some of these videos, one at least in particular, is tagged publicly with an address, including one on Bleep Avenue. And you can go and look at it if you want to. Y'all already know Lima Yavrimovich, these people's sister, alleged sister, is suing me falsely, frivolously, meritlessly for defamation. So I'm not about to get put their address out there, even though one of these twins did put their address out there, which makes me believe she wants us to know exactly where she is being living. Ting. <laughs> Although I would hardly describe that as living. Dandy Lion actually replied and said, thank you exclamation point. The comments are now turned off. So we wanted to see what was at this location. She had very publicly tagged and listed seemingly very intentionally under her YouTube video. On Street View, there is a BMW just like incidentally parked right out front of this little teeny little shack on Bleep Avenue. It's actually listed at a half street address. It doesn't even have its own address. And well, it does. It's a half address, right? It doesn't have a whole number. And there's like it's a little tiny lot and there's this red light hanging on the front porch. There's a BMW parked out front who owns the house and it has changed hands a few times in the last. They didn't. Dahlia Takali put her address front row center in the description box of two of her YouTube videos on Dandelion. Well, here goes Shannonography, who I've never heard of, but we're going to see the Lima connection coming very soon. She's saying, 
if you did this to my sister, which is reporting on the news, if I reported on the news about Shannonography's sister, which I very well may do, which I very well may do, baby, I would end up in prison, she says. I sure as well wouldn't sue. I think she meant hell. She can't spell either. Bless her. Bless her heart. Can't spell. I think she meant to say I sure as hell wouldn't sue. She don't have no damn sense, though, so it really does not surprise me that she can't even figure out how to spell a four-letter word. Then the most deranged lunacy she said of the whole day, and this says one day ago, but this was really long time ago. This was months and months ago. I'd give a blanket party that you would not ever forget. If you know, you know. Well, I am not of the ilk of the type of deranged sociopath who just randomly uses blanket party as a threat? I had no idea what that meant. I had no idea what a blanket party was. So I went and looked it up. A blanket party is a form of corporal punishment or hazing conducted within a peer group, most frequently within the military or military academies. The victim usually asleep in bed is restrained by having a blanket flung over him and held down at the corners, while other members of the group strike him repeatedly with improvised flails. Other weapons which could be used were entrenching tools or a bunk adapter, a piece of pipe used to connect a bunk bed to another. Very interesting that it seems to be something that's predominantly practiced in the United States military after all the military connections I've found recently. But this deranged sociopath was threatening my life. A blanket party is when someone is in violation and generally they have violated against the entire population of the dorm that they're living on. So a few people will run over, pull a blanket over them while they're on their bed, including all the way over their head, and several people will either punch them or hit them repeatedly. This is generally like a public correction of somebody's bad behavior. If I did this to Shannon Ography's sister, if I looked them up, she wouldn't sue me. No, no, she'd me. She would me within an inch of my life while I was helpless and trapped in a blanket. This is how these people think. All because of journalism. All because I was reporting on publicly available information. I would like to see Shannon try it. I would really like to see it. You might be inclined to think, wow, this Shannon person is just some deranged lunatic from the internet who has nothing to do with Lima at all whatsoever. Well, would you be surprised to find out? Shannon was following Lima on Instagram. That wasn't as particularly surprising as Lima to this very day is still following Shannon on Instagram. To this day, Lima's still following Shannon on Instagram. Now, Shannon is still up to her old tricks. I guess she is a little shook that the Dahlia Takali Instagram account is following me now because Shannon has taken to Instagram to say things along the line of, I am sorry you were hurting inside. Please stay safe and do not talk to BJ or anyone telling you to talk to her. BJ is stalking your family. Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. If I was stalking their family, don't you think a police in any damn anywhere in this open air prison would have gone ahead and done something about it? Don't you think a prosecutor would have done something about it? Don't you think they would have called the police and made a report? Don't you think there would be a restraining order? If they went so far as to file a civil lawsuit and spend God knows how many hundreds of thousands of dollars at this point on this lawsuit, don't you think they would have went the route of I was stalking. Don't you think that they would have done that? Don't you think if they could have gotten the state to pursue some charge instead of them coming out of their pocket to pursue the charge, don't you think they would have gone that route? I'm not stalking anybody, idiot. Deranged lunatic. These people don't know how to act. Won't you worry about what's going on in your own damn life? Won't you worry about your own GoFundMe? That you got set up for your daughters and your grandkids. Why don't you? I feel real bad for that daughter. She seems to be in a very, very bad situation. And instead of having a supportive, loving mother who's kind of focusing on that situation, she's focusing on me, lying about me, threatening my life on the internet. Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to be, be careful, be careful. These people are, I'm not scared of this leather shoe. Scared of what? I dare you, Shannon Battle. I dare you. I dare you try to do something crazy.
I believe in defending myself. Come around and try to throw a blanket party. Bitch. Come and try to throw a, I want you to, because the last damn thing I am is scared. Ready is more like what I would say. None of you deranged lunatics are going to scare me. Of what? Of what? Oh no, this lunatic from Pensacola who can't even keep her own shit together. She, she wants to kill me. Keep talking that shit, Shannon. Hmm. Keep going. Because Shannonography done got on my very last nerve. It ain't just pettiness either. If BJ did this to my sister, I'd be in jail. I'd throw her a blanket party. You would? We're going to have to see real soon. Because I've looked into you too. I have stories of people who you have worked with. Your clients. They are not happy with you. I was happy to let this go because to be honest, Shannon is a nobody. Me talking about her is honestly giving her attention and clout that she doesn't even deserve. It's like a demigod talking about like a, like a orc. It's like a, it's like, you know, y'all ever watch Lord of the Rings? I would consider myself to be like one of those elves, you know, like this ethereal elf princess talking about like a orc, you know, those things that they like grow from slime in the mountain in hell or whatever. That's me talking about her is like that. It's like an ethereal angelic being sent from heaven above to literally do a divine purpose. Talking about a gremlin. That's what it's like. But since she won't keep my damn name out of her damn mouth, while I am not scared, just in case something does happen, I need the fingers to be pointing in the right direction. Shannon Battle from Pensacola, Florida. Y'all think y'all are going to scare me? I haven't done anything wrong, but the last I checked, I can't say the same for y'all. Here y'all are deranged, aligning yourself with people who do death threats. It's crazy. What's wrong with you? A lot. What's wrong with me? Nothing. That's why I'm going to win and you won't. If y'all are so inclined, please do donate to the legal fund below. That way I can go ahead and subpoena every one of these deranged lunatics for depositions. Shannon, I would love to have her for eight hours in a deposition. Why is she so scared? Why is Shannon Ography so scared for me to talk to Dahlia? If I'm so wrong about all this stuff, why does it matter if I talk to Dahlia? Shouldn't she be able to see straight through it if I'm not right? Wouldn't she be able to see straight through all my lies and disinformation if that's really what was going on? Wouldn't she? Or maybe it's possible that what I'm saying might be a little closer to the truth. As far as my mental state, I get up and do my breathing every morning. I drink spring water that's not fluorinated. I am in touch with and in contact with any and everybody I need to be in contact with. I have everything I need. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am intelligent. I am gifted. And I'm resonating at the correct vibration because I'm walking in my purpose. It's something that I can't say for anybody on Team Con. Look, at, I mean, just look at me. Look at me six months ago. Look at me eight months ago. Go watch those videos. I'm healthier. I'm happier. I'm glowing. Complexion on point. Hair is growing. This is just how my hair looks. Just getting out, just getting out the shower. It's just like a beautiful angelic. I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's very obvious just from looking at me. It's very obvious from looking at how many people are now invested in this story. It's very obvious that the people are on my side. Hmm. Everybody on YouTube who's tried to come against me, it hasn't gone well for them. And I'm not taking credit for that at all. I didn't have to do nothing. Steve-O the failed clown. <laughs> views are tanking. Nobody cares about what he has to say on the internet anymore. Adam22 <laughs> got canceled. Real canceled. Immediately. Within just a couple months after he had Lima and her lies on his channel, they lied about me. Defamed me, slandered me, made it seem like I was doing stuff I wasn't doing, saying stuff I wasn't saying. They think I'm Illuminati. They think I'm MK Ultra. They think that I own rehabs. They, they do the Illuminati thing about me, too. Yeah. It's just kind of Well, that's bizarre. why you interviewed me, because we're both Illuminati. That does kind of add up. Yeah. No. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Didn't take long for his cancellation to come. Mark Leta, I think the very next day after he put his Lima video up. People are trying to make up these awful stories. Autopsy results. That they somehow overlooked. 
Tylenol in her system. Of these people seeking to get medical records. He was demonetized the whole channel. I'm Mark Leda and I create the videos you see on my channel, Soft White Underbelly. About a month ago, YouTube changed their policy demonetizing all the videos that have any kind of content. That impacts about two thirds of the videos that are on my channel and there's really not much I can do about it. I'm frustrated by this decision. Um, you could also make a donation to the GoFundMe. Hmm. Did I do that? Did I demonetize Mark? Hell no. That's just a cause and effect. That's karma, whatever goes around comes or whatever you want to call it. It's a divine law. It's not my law. I follow a divine law where you let people do what they're supposed to do. You let people make their own mistakes and you don't let powerful people lie and bamboozle. I'm walking in my purpose and that's why things are going to keep working out for me. Is it hard? Yep. Do I get stressed? Hell yeah. Do I cry all the time? I do. I sure do. But I feel very good. I feel happy. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not letting the clown world decide what I'm going to do. I'm not letting the open air prison guards decide what I'm going to do. I ain't doing clown world shit and I ain't playing by clown world rules. And it just so happens that things keep working out for me. Everything I need, I have. Everything I want, I have. Except private flights. I would like to fly private and not have to deal with the sensory input of airports. It stresses me out over there. I don't like it. Other than flying private, I have everything I want. Even want. Every single thing I want, I have it. Except flying private. Every single thing I need, I've had it. And I could lose every single thing I have tomorrow and I still be walking in my purpose. I would still be just fine because that's how it works. Whenever you are aligning yourself with people who want to entrap, manipulate, lie, and enslave their fellow humans, you are not going to make it for very long. That's not my law. That's just the rules. Now, as far as Shannonography, I would still say, y'all, don't go and give any hate. Don't tell her nothing. Because if you do, she's going to blame me. And she's going to act like it's me that's sending y'all to do it. Whenever all I'm trying to do is give transparency to somebody that's been harassing and quite literally threatening me for months. This person has left hundreds, if not thousands of comments across the internet on various places lying about me, threatening me, directly threatened me and said that she would give me a blanket party. No, you won't. You unhinged, deranged lunatic. No, you will not. No, you will not. <clears throat> if you so much as say one more thing about me on the internet, I will be calling the local police and pressing charges on you because you are not going to put it out into the universe that I'm going to be harmed physically. No, you're not. And what you're damn sure not going to do is illegally, violently threaten me. If I have to leave you on a post at the entrance of my village to let people know what is not going to happen over here in this dimension, I will. Hmm. Anyway, that's all I had for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mini K. Bye.